Hey Angel, welcome back to Your Own University TV, where we're gonna talk about what sets you apart from everybody else in the world, because you matter. Pete says, beauty is truth and truth is beauty. Well, beauty is also creativity and creation and that energy. So today we're gonna to talk about how these three principles work together and how you can utilize them to create more joy, peace, and abundance in your life. Are you ready to dive in? Are you ready for more joy, peace, and abundance in your life? Because I know that I am. I am. And each time that I level up to more peace, to more abundance, to more joy in my life, I feel this stretching almost as uncomfortable as when you like condense down, you have to look at those shadow aspects of yourself. So today we're going to talk about the stretching open and how you can begin to build strength in your creative muscle. This is something that I began looking into oh, years ago, probably four or five years ago, when I really dove into my desires and I allowed myself to start looking at what I desire in my life. What do I really want in my life? And am I focusing on that or am I focusing on the fact that I didn't have that in my life? Am I focusing on a fear or am I focusing on a shadow or am I focusing on other things? So this was a huge shift for me and I hope that it's also a huge shift for you and how you fill your time, how you fill your life. Because oftentimes I know like we're like on our phones and we're like doing things and we're at work and we're on the computers and how often do we actually just stop and take in and go to places and surround ourselves with beauty. So one of my most favorite things to do and something that I absolutely prescribe to each and every one of my clients is nature time. Because nature actually creates a symbiotic balance in, in your body. It like gets you back in tune. And this last week, I was post some pictures. I went on a beautiful walk around one of um, this little lake we have here in Alaska called Reflections Lake. And it's perfect for taking off your shoes and just, just walking, walking in the moss by the lake. And what it did for my body is it literally like took me from this place of stress and having a lot to do and anchored me into this balance. I also took some moments to just meditate. I also took some moments to just sit and bask in the beauty, the majesty, the truth of what was happening around really me. Really like was, there's, there's spring. Spring is springing here in Alaska right now and maybe it's springing where you are in the world as well. But how often do you just stop to smell the roses, stop to smell the flowers, stop to appreciate that beauty? Well, four or five years ago, I began to stop and really appreciate like, oh, look at this beautiful flower, look at this cute little puppy, look at that scenery. And I began to breathe into this and my life began to shift into a more truthful, beautiful existence and that brings this peace that brings the joy that brings the abundance into your current reality so I want to ask you what is beautiful to you maybe it's not nature maybe it's something else but what is beautiful to you what is beautiful to you? How do you define beauty for yourself? And how do you surround yourself with that beauty? It might be a beautiful, beautifully decorated home. It may be um, clothing, right? It might be nature. It might be that perfect sunset. It might be that beautiful sunrise. What is beautiful to you and how can you surround yourself with more of that beauty? It was really important for me to understand how I define beauty because we each define beauty uniquely. So how do you define beauty? So the second part of the saying is that beauty is truth, right? So beauty is truth. So your truth is beautiful. You know when somebody's lying, like you can feel that look, it's like it closes off. You can like 
feel it, sense it. It's an awareness. But when someone, someone's telling their truth, even if it's a truth that you don't want to hear at all, even if it's a truth that you're like, uh-uh, like I'm not into it, or it's not your truth, you can sense that too. There's an opening to it. And sometimes we might share our truth in the moment and realize that our truth was covered up with some old stories, some limiting beliefs, some lies, some fragments that are stopping or blocking us from creating the life that we want. So beauty is truth and truth is beauty. So telling your truth is a beautiful thing. Where can you tell your truth, especially to yourself, more? So one place that I do this is my blessing journal. Now this is just like a silly meads thing, right? A buck 99. But you can write down where where your truth is. What is your truth at the moment? I often journal about my truth in the moment and I get it out and then I'm like, oh my gosh, like that's old news. That's a limited belief. That's something I don't even want to look at. I don't even want to analyze. I don't even want to try on or play on because that's not how I want to feel. That's not how I want to believe. So until you express that truth, you just don't know. You don't know until you speak that truth into creation and then you can go, oh, delete, delete, delete. I do that often, I rip up the page, I'm like, nope, nope, I do not agree with that anymore. But in order to get to that place, to know what you desire, to know what you want, you have to speak your truth. So a great way to do that is into your journal and then you can ask yourself, is this beautiful to me? Is this representing something beautiful in my life? Or is this something that I would prefer to shift to a more beautiful view? So the last piece of this beauty and truth is that it is you who is creating your life. We are co-creators or we are creators of our own life through our thoughts, through our feelings, through our desires. And what we feel is going to bring us the results that we that we desire that we want and it's challenging to know that in times if you're not surrounding yourself or allowing yourself to be surrounded by things that inspire you that are beautiful to you so the other way that you can strengthen this ability to create is by activating your creative mind. Now getting out in nature for me does this, seeing beautiful things around me does this, being surrounded by beauty, feeling beautiful in my own skin does this for me. Also speaking my truth does this for me. It activates your creative nature. And other things that activate your creative nature is actually being creative. Where can you create something that is yours and yours alone? So I am not an artist by any means, but this week I did buy a whole bunch of canvas and paint and everything to start just drawing because drawing is a beautiful way to activate your creative mind. Open to new, inspiring, actions. So another way that you can do this, the last way I'm going to share with you today to strengthen this muscle and to connect with your beauty and your truth is to allow yourself quiet time to meditate, to watch your stories come in and out of your mind, to allow inspiration in spirit, spirit to come into your life, to allow you more creative thoughts that are uniquely yours, that are yours to download and create and manifest and bring truth and beauty into the world through that creation. So the last piece to strengthen this co-creative being within you to allow you to have more peace and more joy and more abundance in your life is to take quiet time to allow your thoughts to just wash away your truth to just wash in and out of your body and listen for your creative force your spiritual force to bring you inspiration in spirit to bring you new awarenesses so you can create something uniquely yours in the world because that, that is your legacy. That is where you are separate from anything that is collectively conscious in your world. When you practice creating things from your center, you are going to open 
to new possibilities in your life and everybody else's lives around you because you're going to bless them with your own truth and your own beauty. So I hope that you like this. I hope that you go and take this into action. Tell me what you're creating, how you're strengthening your creative muscles, what you think is beautiful in the comments below. Speak your truth. Let me know how you feel, how you think, what you imagine this video to be for you. Please share this with your friends. Subscribe so you get notified when we have our new episodes out. And thank you so much for being a part of your own university and our family. If you have not yet got our 365 days of love, all you have to do is sign up for it. Go to your own university and sign up and learn more about our master classes and our trainings. I love you so much. Mwah. Hey angels, thank you for watching Your Own University TV. This is a little segment about what we do at Your Own University and some of the courses, classes, and ways that we're here to serve you. checking out the Amazing You program. This is a fantastic program. It is my award-winning program. It is so effective. It is also the foundation for the Holistic Coaching Certification Program at your own university. And how I became one of America's premier experts. And how I was asked to get my doctorate degree. You are going to transform your life in every single area in a powerful, authentic way, stepping into who you are meant to be rather than a reaction from anything in your past. So different from a common therapeutic or focusing on one area of your life where you get a shift there, but then other areas fall apart. We are going to work together, you and I, to get you from point A to point B and really build confidence in every area of your life. So you're powerfully making decisions and feel content and happy and at peace. So the benefits of this program, you can see the testimonials in my testimonial section. People in this program tend to gain health, they gain mental confidence, they gain emotional maturity and peace. They form amazing relationships, save their relationships, they get raises at work and jobs and miracles happen all around. So you're about to embark in a journey that is going to enhance your life in a way that I can't even explain, but I know it works and I'm excited that you're gonna come on this journey with me. So I'll see you on the other side.